The state Senate will be taking up a vote on a big contract for state workers. Now, this deal provides bonuses and raises for more than 40,000 state employees. But not everyone is on board. Channel 3 Eyewitnesses reporter Audrey Russo is live at the state capitol this morning. The price tag, Audrey, is causing some division. Wendell, Nicole, that's right. It would cost the state a near $2 billion. When the House voted yesterday, every Republican except one was against it. But Democrats say that that price tag is worth it in order to stop the hemorrhaging of the state's workforce. The CBAC agreement, passed by the House, would provide raises and bonuses for state employees. The contract is set to have an initial wage increase of 2.5% with the potential for a 5.9% bump over the course of the four-year deal with merit adjustments. Democrats say this is needed to recruit and retain workers who could make more in the private sector. Frankly, their pay has not kept up with the private sector, has not kept up with the municipal sector, has not kept up with inflation. But Republicans weren't on board, concerned that the near $2 billion price tag could cost taxpayers too much. It is a question of fairness and priorities. We have residents struggling. Now, retirements are also playing a role in this conversation. One state rep it says that they're anticipating around 10,000 retirements in the state workforce by the fall. Now, again, this is an ongoing situation. The vote moves to the state Senate, where they're expected to make a decision later today. Live at the state capitol, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Audrey, thank you. 630.